Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this army showcase video. We have a really cool Solar Auxilia 30k force for you guys to check out today in this showcase video and I do hope that you're going to like it. Uh, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel then firstly thank you ever so much for stopping by and welcome. Uh, here at Siege we're a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 members of staff who all paint from our entry level bronze above tabletop standard all the way up to our platinum competition entry quality. If you are interested in a quote with us, then what you need to do very simply is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. If you click on the link next to get a quote, it will take you directly to the CTO's website and our contact form where you can complete the relevant drop down options for you and your project. And also in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on that contact form. Fire that off to us to get the process started, and then we'll come back to you very swiftly with a quote and get the ball rolling. See you guys back in a second where we look at this awesome army in more detail. See you guys shortly. So first up, let's have a look at all the infantry and some of the HQ slash characters. Um, we have some really cool models. We've got Avon Jovan, uh, two medical orderlies, uh, the medical gurney, obviously, and then we have 20 of the Volantaris storm section troops in two squads of 10. Really, really cool models. Um, obviously, these are forge worlds, so they're all resin, which is really nice. Uh, great models to work with with lots of little intricate details. We'll start by having a look at some of these uh, Medicaid staff here. Again, these have all been painted by Michael, one of the artists here at Siege. Loads of really cool little details on these. You've got the cape there with the little blood patches on them as well. Got this really cool backpack with all the rope and piping that's been done there. Leather with nice highlighting and um, sort of attention to detail to make it look a little bit old on that pouch as well, which is really cool. And uh, again, we've got little bits of details and things. We've got actually a leg here from, uh, from one of them. He looks like he's just uh, performed an amputation or about to get Give someone some painkillers uh, all the little vials and things all painted as well which is really really nice and all the little tools and things also done on him as well which is cool so that's just him two more of the medical aids for the gurney for the character uh, again really really cool dude here i love the pose where he's just got the uh, saw kind of like slack and then just looking for a next uh, i say victim but next uh, next trooper to aid maybe even uh, helping with the removal of this leg um but we'll see um again moving around you can see all the little details and things that are added to him and uh, mike's done a stellar job on picking out all those little bits of uh, extra sort of attention to detail on the models uh, which is really lovely little skulls and trinkets and things that he's got again and little vials with all the bits of uh, sort of like blood and things in them with little catch lights as well for the for the weather glasses refracting light as well which is really nice so that's just him and then the final one with a really uh, aggressive looking saw here maybe it was a uh, all three of them got involved in a leg amputation uh, but you can see some awesome details on this guy as well the little vials and things lenses and his face plate all picked out there as well in a lovely fashion again really nice consistent sort of weathered leather on all those patches and uh, sort of things that he's carrying uh, so that's just him uh, and then we have character Avon, who's really, really cool in his medical gurney here. And Mike's done a stellar job in picking up all the facial details, the eyes and everything. He's, uh, there's the uh, missing leg, or where the leg is from, undoubtedly. Uh, again, you've got all the little extra details. I like the way he's holding his, um, his uh, helmet there as well, which is quite nice. Again, little side tray here on the gurney with uh, some tools and things, which is really, really cool. Uh, a bloody rag just hanging down. Again, they've got this really cool gurney so that he can still sort of command, but just uh, do it in a more sort of comfortable fashion given his wounds and injuries. <laughs> uh, but again, really, really cool character and uh, a really cool model as well. I don't think it's available anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, really, really nice. And then we have the two storm sections, uh, some really nice infantry here. Just get it to focus. Mike's done a really nice job of getting them in a very gritty 30k kind of scheme here. You can see that silver and blue and tan complementary triarch of colours, which is really nice. Slight blue tinge to the silver sections as well, which is really cool. Uh, and again, lovely, lovely amount of detail on these uh, Forge World models as well. So that's just one of them with a Volkite. We'll pull forward the sergeant who's got a power fist and he's shooting there with a LAS pistol as well. Lovely sort of uh, reddish sort of glow on the lenses as well of all their sort of powered helmets as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just uh, one of the sergeants. About to smack some of that fist and give them a bad day. Uh, again, the posing on these, these are all fairly stock models, so they uh, they all are posed in a certain way, but you can see the lovely attention to detail from model to model and same consistency throughout. Very much gone for a for Forge World kind of uh, scheme on this as well as per our client's request. So very gritty, uh, very drab as well, which is a lovely, lovely way of presenting these models. Uh, so that's just another one of the Storm section. And then we'll pull forward some from the other squads just so you can see the consistency and also some different poses. This includes crouching here, taking a shot. Again, Again, lovely amounts of detail work all picked out on him. Uh, every sort of light and lens and everything all fully done. And then we'll pull forward the other sergeant just so you can see him again. Same pose, but again, really nice consistency on all these models that Michael's uh, managed to execute for our client. Uh, so that's just the other sergeant from that unit. 
Up next, we're gonna have a look at all the tanks and there's quite a few, so stick around, they're coming up next. See you guys back shortly. So next up guys, we have all of the armor from this Solar Auxilia army. And uh, we've got some really interesting and cool models for you guys to have a look at. Uh, going from left to right, we've got a Malkador Annihilator, a Dracosan, we've also got a Valdor Tank Hunter, another Dracosan, and then we also have the Malkador Infernus. And to finish it all off, we have a really cool flyer, which is the Arvus Lighter. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with any of these models, then you should definitely check them out on the Forge World website. Really, really cool models. Um, we'll start with the Valdor. It's a, obviously a tank hunter with a ridiculously massive anti-tank or laser weapon on the front of it. Really, really cool. Mike's done a stellar job in picking out all the little details, giving it this lovely yellow and blue sort of iconography on all the tanks. Uh, lens is all done in lovely complementary red as well, just to make those stand out, which is really nice. And obviously the little lights and things were all there all picked out as well as you can see um lovely subtle chipping and damage done onto the lower portions and across sporadically across the armor as well not all rusting some are just chipped in different sort of manners as well the paint's chipped in a little bit as well lovely dull sort of uh, goldish brass on the uh, filigree and, and sort of edging on all of the uh, metal work as well i love the steampunk look of the solo auxilia tanks um I'll pull forward some of the Dracosans, first of all, just so you can see these. And these are the infantry transport for the Solar Auxilia. Uh, massive, massive demolisher cannon on the front there with multi-laser sort of turret part or sponson there, as you can see. Uh, and again, all the little engine parts and everything all fully painted and picked out. Uh, and also all the little lenses and everything done in a lovely, lovely red complementary colour, as I mentioned. Uh, so that's one of the Dracosans. The other one's exactly the same, so I won't pull that forward as well to have a look at. And then we'll have a look at the Malkador Annihilator, which is the anti-tank version of um, a similar sort of hole type, which is quite nice. Again, demolisher cannon, twin las cannon, and then two las cannon sponsons. Uh, which is really nice. Again, love what Michael's done with the metal work on these. It's a really sort of uh, ancient, sort of antique kind of brassy gold kind of finish on these as well, which is really nice. Every little lens and every light all picked out and lovely, lovely chipping across all the metal work, paint work and armour as you can see. Uh, so that's just the Annihilator. Now we have got the Malkador um, Infernus, which is the flame variant of the tank here. Uh, and you've also got the, the um, You've also got the fuel sort of trailer as well. We'll have a look at that as well separately. But here's the Malkador Infernus, a mighty tank with a, a packing a serious, serious bit of kit on the front. Would not want to be on the front end of receiving of that. Uh, again, you can see all the chipping and weathering that's done on these, uh, all the little lenses and everything picked out there in a lovely fashion, just to show the consistency from model or tank to tank. Uh, move that round as well as you can see. So you've got two, um, I believe these are auto cannons or stubber sponsons. I can't remember. Correct me in the comments, guys, if you do know this tank better than I do. Um, and then obviously you've got the engine bay there all picked out as well. We've got the trailer which attaches to this as well, or goes with it. And you can see the lovely massive uh, sort of fuel canister on the back of that as well. Mike's done some lovely chipping and weathering on that as well, just so you can see that in some lovely detail there as well. So that's just the Malkador Infernus. Uh, really, really cool tank. Uh, finishes off the lineup quite nicely. And then probably one of my favorite flyers from uh, 40K and also 30K, we have the Arvus Lighter, which is really, really Really, really cool. Um, Arvis Lighter, uh, obviously is uh, just transport transport flyer, which is really cool. I'll pull it forward so you guys can have a look at this in a bit better detail as well. But a really lovely model. Um, I, I genuinely, genuinely think this is one of my favorite Forge World flyers uh, in general. Uh, but again, Mike's done a stellar job here picking out all of the little lenses and things on this bad boy. And, uh, and you can see the pilot there fully painted as well in the cockpit as well with all the glass put in as well. You can see the nice refraction of light there on the canopy. And then moving around on the side, you've got a lovely, lovely amount of weathering and chipping done in a very gritty style uh, that our clients requested. Uh, subtle glow on those two wing lights as well. Uh, moving around, lovely yellow accents of this sort of grey as well. And we've got the rear entry ramp there of the flyer as well, which is quite cool. Uh, and these two lovely little engines on the top as well. Really, really lovely model. Uh, it goes really cool with Imperial Guard if you're going to do drop infantry and stuff like that um you know very very thematic which is really nice again all those little lenses all fully painted there as you can see uh, and just get that focus a bit more so you can see all of the little chipping and streaks and bits and bobs that are added onto this so that's just the arvis lighter guys from the force and uh, finishes up this lovely army phase which is a secondary phase to another phase which we completed um, so just so you can see that. Um, do hope you can stick around to the end of the video to see the army all again in its glory and find out a bit more about how to take out a commission with us here at Siege, like this one or any other thing like a character or a small force. See you guys back shortly.
So thanks for watching the video guys, really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you've liked this really cool solar auxilia army. I know that Mike had a great time working on it. If you are interested in a commission with us, be it for a small character, a small force or an army like this, then very simply all you need to do is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote, click on that link which will take you directly to the Siege Studios uh, website with our contact form. Complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options for you and your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is also shown on there and uh, we'll, once we get that from you we'll then come back to you with a quote and get the process started. Also while you're in the description there's all links to our social media so if you can give us a like and follow respectively on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook then we will really appreciate it and you can see all the cool things that we can do as a business. And also as well finally while you're here on YouTube do us a huge favour and subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and if you do hit the bell icon you will be notified when all our new videos do go up so I hope you can do that. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.